to recover down. this. Yeah, uh, focus move, inside please? there if I can. A, sh a ship move, please. Five meters, bearing two four five, at one tenth of a knot. Just pull back just a little bit. Coming out. The big picture. Out there. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Roger. Fire would have been built in there where we're looking. Kettles probably in certain square holes on the top of there. What would you like to see on the stove, folks? Dave, but start with the right. So coming in, yeah, hold it. Monterey, we think, was left resting on a sheet of lead. Well, this seems to be resting on a base of some kind. Well, if you look at it, that whatever metal that's sitting there is corroded differently than the iron. This might also be lead. Go ahead and throw that game back in. Take color and right fold now. it over. Yeah. I'm wondering if this was sitting in an area where it was boxed in or surrounded. Okay, coming left. Right over there. See how that's all sort of folded down? And then you don't see it so much here, which would mean that it slid out of place. Thank you, Bridge. A lot of corrosion byproducts here and excretion. All this packing stuff. What else would you have a sense of what that fibrous material is? It's, uh, I don't know if it would be associated with leather, so um, anything else it could be? Well, that's what Amy and I were thinking about as far as the dunnage for packing. How does horsehair hold up underwater? Also true. We've got a question from one of our pilots about how horsehair would hold up. Yeah. Let's back up a little bit and just, just look again at the front of the stove. Okay. Let's, let's pull come, out just come a little wide, bit. Dave. A little coming yep. out. Right there. Right there. there. Yeah. Um, if, it, if the dunnage was uh, just plant material or something, you would think it would disintegrate. Uh, um, I don't know what else. Well, the other, the other question is, I think the cooking stoves on these vessels usually were on deck, not inside the ship itself. Right, so it might have collapsed into the cargo portion. We're seeing a little bit of both. Right. Let's pull just a little, little wider, please. Roger, point. Just a let's yeah. come a little wider. Holding. Let's let's uh, tilt up. Yeah, it's there perfect. Go, full frame. Tilt up a little. A little, a little bit more. It's coming to him. Okay. Okeanos, if you look to the left of the stove in the background, you see a circular object. Right. Yeah. I see the lead uh, horse pipe. That is pipe. a lead scupper. Right. Can you give me some on that, please? Yeah, sure. Coming left. Ed, can you give me a partial zoom on uh, Sirius, please? Co-pilot video, partial zoom Sirius, I. About Good. there. Hold that. Holding. And zoom D2. Pilot video zooming D2. Jamie, All this co-pilot. I changed the serious view to be looking more straight up huh. the center line of the ship. 
That's great. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, the serious view, everybody now is is looking more up the center line to try to give you a feeling for where the big objects are relative to each other. I know you've got a mosaic looking vertically down at the hull, but this gives you a perspective view. Okay, a little more zoom, please. Yeah. More zoom, I. Yeah. Oh, do I just lose that much light? It's way out there. We're uh, we're at full max, or not quite max, I guess. We're close though. You also just pan slightly left of that pepper. Coming left. Okay, so we've got a screen capture. Oh, Candace, did you copy? Can you please pan to the left, please? Yeah. Yeah, we're coming. There's a plate. Did you want further left? Give them a little time for no, that. No, I think we're good. We just want to see what that white mass is right there. Are we at full zoom, Dave? Oh. I think so. What are we Absolutely. doing? Absolutely. We are all the way in. Okay, pull out just a little bit. Let's. Roger them. Help me with the light. Context here. Even just that helps. Looks like we might have uh, other worms uh, upright in the left. That's, a, that's the thing we saw last year. It has like the. Uh, a circular object with like ears on it. Oh yeah, I yeah. see the ears. Oh, we're looking at concave. Right, it's a concave kind of shallow bowl with. It's like a bowl. It's a uh, pestle. It is. It's stone. Uh, mortar, mortar and pestle. And it has those ears on it. It almost looks like a baptismal font. Hmm. We'll get another look at it as we come around. Let's uh. Come out a little bit more yet. And while we're in there, Roger, you see those two out. worms off to the left. Yeah, Hold. let's pan left to the two worms, yeah. Dave. Coming left. Yeah, I'll get a tight zoom on these. Back in. Coming back in. Yeah, I've got Holding some. there. Yeah, just get it steady up here. I have more zoom, but I'll have a better focus at this focal length. Okay, let's go in a little bit more. Coming in more. Hey, Jack. Go ahead. When you look at the mosaic, in addition to that stone basin okay, and, the, and the scupper, that's full in. Okay. just forward of the scupper is what looks to be a, a cauldron or a pot. I mean... Have we got full max there, Dave? We are maxed out. Maxed out. We're at maximum speed. I actually think it would be a little more usable if I come out yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Just uh, about like there. there. Yeah. So it's hard to say on that one. So, and we'll keep our eyes open. Thanks All right. For doing that. All right. Let's let's, let's come back wide. Oh, wide. Oh, wide. Oh, wide eye. Still partial zoom on Sirius. You've got close to the ceiling planking and you've got outer hull planking. Remember, we'll be coming back yeah, around this side. I'm sorry, what was that, Jack? Well, I mean, there are a couple we're of really things that, that are just... We are full wide pilot. What you were saying with a cauldron, another yeah, circular fine. optic tube right in that Take area. Should we continue, continue to move forward? Yeah. About there? Oh, that's right. I, I think so. Let's go to our next... Uh, Let's slide forward, Dave. Let's move forward to the bow, please. Coming right. I think we're going to have more of those white blocks. Yeah, it looks like they're almost aligned with your front. So all stations, all stations, we have just, we've looked at priority one and now we've done priority three. We're moving to the bow, which is priority two. Now we have got hull structure in front of us. Do you want to look at that? Stop, please, and take a look at that. Right. Yeah. Let's stop here, Dave. Take a look again, just going back to the hypothesis of her being more to port. If you look at the angle of the frames here, particularly in the mosaic, as compared to the Get angle zoom, of the frame Zooming eye. on the other side, you'll see that we are lying more flush to the seabed and not sticking straight up. If we up. get it uh, from a little more to the left, we'll the get the uh, whole structure and those look that here, layered you can see material the as well. Of the planking frames underneath. It's I believe hides. this vessel has healed over, as we'd indicated.
Bring my levels down. Losing my free DB of gain. I can come in more if you'd like as well. Let's uh, let's take a zoom in on the uh, on the hall, Dave, and then we'll pan right. We'll see if we can get that two worm. Come on in, Ed. Coming in. Brave just noticed something that's both in the mosaic. Holding and here. Look at this image. Or for one. What we are looking Roger. at. Stacks of hides with rolls of now, hides on high. top I think of. We them. should move slightly so that we're ready to move. Look here and you see the ceiling planking, so thinking, uh, and then above it five you meters, see laminated uh, hide, which doesn't potentially suggest Copy rolling, that. but rather flat stowed and then with the roll on Hold top of it. Yeah, I think you're right. Point and the bottom layer of hide stowed in the hole are laid flat, and then you have rolls placed on top. Yeah, we see that. Okay, pull a little more. Pulling out. Hey, we just have an example. You remember that uh, shallow circular hole there. with the ears? That's good. Hold we just there. pulled up an internet uh, example of an apothecary herbalist uh, mortar and pestle. Looks exactly like that. Excellent. Dave, I think uh, we Bridge. just got some. ROV nav. We just got some commentary from the beach. We want to make Another sure we pull place. back and get some wide shots meters, as we move up the hull consistently. Two four zero. Full wide, please on T two. Thank you. Full wide eye. There's also a tube worm. Yeah. Tube. Ah, oh, we need to get back to the tube worm. I'm sorry. Look, so let's right hold this shot for a minute. I want to make sure okay. we get some cross and long axis shots okay. as we go. So. Uh, Tube worm will be coming. On a video, quick shift change over here. Roger that. That's great. Now, if you want to come back in when video is ready, we can look for the tube worm. It's right there. Hey, I, I put this reference in the entry log, but. Uh, the one of the ones I found from a cargo in 1810 had bear hides being packed in hogshead. So is it possible that these hides, the fact that they're rolled um, or stacked, meant that they were in wooden barrels or wooden boxes and the wood is degraded, and that's why they're hey, really? looking or appearing rolled or um, conforming to those kinds of shapes? I don't really see the wood between them, but I was just going to kind of throw that out there as a question. That's a good one. And earlier, Jen had suggested, in addition to um, cattle hides, Hides. It's near max. Yeah, I think um, I have a cowskin okay. rug on my floor in my All living room, in. and when it's you roll that off, it's a heck of a it's lot max. bigger than the rolls that we're looking at here. So I'm just wondering about smaller animals. There we go. The elusive solitary oh, tube worm. Oh. To the right of that is it alive? Right? I guess it is. I don't see anybody yeah, see. sticking out of it yet, but. I will have a better view of it when I move to the right. Okay, let's come wide rolling. I need to lateral away a ways uh, along here. Thank you. Hey, did you all see the, the white tubes you, to the right of the big fat white? Calcareous tube? Yeah, they're coming. They're going to come zoom back in on this tube to see if we can see if it's living or not. So we'll catch those again. Yeah, maybe the, the angle wasn't quite right for looking at the opening. Yeah. I'll bet that's another shipworm uh, remains. Uh, everybody, uh, we're coming wide periodically because we've gotten some input from the beach that we may not be getting enough perspective shots on the wreck. So uh, that's uh, I want to do that as well as give you the zooms you need. That's fine. Well, 
Okay, let's zoom back in, Roland, and we'll pick up the other aspect of the tube worm and then have a look so around. So everything I'm seeing it's here, hurt. the way this, the timbers are angled and the rest, I think we have the vessel rolled more to starboard. Okay, a little more zoom, please. Working the tube worm. And not as a necessarily slight angle. Partial. Keep it coming. I don't see any flesh or... No, it, that doesn't look alive, does it? No. Nobody's home. Nobody is home. But the ones on the on the sediment next to it do. And he could have been famous. Coming right. I thought I saw the worm last year. I'll have to take... I'll have to pull up the, up the screen capture again and take a look. He could be retracted. Those are a little strange to me. I don't know what's going on there. Good guy, full wide on serious for a moment. So they're alive. Full wide. Yeah. Thanks. Coming back out. So that's. Uh, well, we got. They got a food source. Yeah. The question is what they are. Yeah, polychaetes are notoriously difficult to tell. If they're in, you know, is there, See the is very it small uh, crab? sediment, is it the gary is wood? The wood. Um, I mean, the wood in the background looks relatively fresh, eaten or broken away, but... Um, you notice, too, that that's not a, that doesn't look to be a dense hardwood, either. Let's, uh... Pull full wide on D2, and I'll get my lunch relief in position, and then we'll be uh, ready to uh, take direction. Full wide. Thanks, Rolly. That's great. So as soon as we get a pilot change, and we'll uh, continue to work our way towards the bow. It's a pretty good view of the wreck now, uh, and the number of rolls and piles of hide in that wreck really packed with a lot of material. Uh, so does anybody recall seeing things like we just saw retracting next to each other? Any idea what those were? Didn't have, they weren't in tubes. Mm -mm. We're going to want to keep our eyes out for, for more of those around the rack that we might be able to zoom in on and get a maybe even closer look than we did that time. Well, Roger that. We'll be looking. There's also a chasing on like crab on the um, center right behind a. I'm not sure what it is behind something. Uh, I think that's that golden crab chasing on Federai. Yeah. If I had this, if I had to guess, this would be what I call it. Yeah. Welcome, Josh and Todd and Carl. Thank you, video. So who's sailing around in Sonar just went to sleep. Lockwood, possibly pine-built, two-masted, unsheathed, iron-fastened vessels in the early 1970s. So, Patrick, can we wake up Sonar? Yes. Oh. Golden crab on. I'm going to have to restart Sonar. Some crazy sailor. <laughs> Having a mixture of, of copper sheets and uncopper sheets vessels in this area this is not unusual. Just as a, as a note. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, um, but I mean, it's interesting. There are some interesting okay. clues. Let me know when you're ready, gentlemen, and we we'll want to continue to move towards the towards the bow to your right. Uh, we are set. Ready. Well then, let's let us do so. Slowly. I'm going to want you in between zooms as we move forward. I'm going to want you to periodically come wide and hold it for perspective views of the wreck. Roger. Josh, did uh, did 
Dave leave you pretty low? What's the what's the story there? He's uh, been keeping it about a meter off the bottom. I'm going to come up a little bit. Carl, uh, the report was Everyone, last we've been on the wreck a little less than three zero. hours, and we have about three and a half hours to go, just to give everybody an update uh, on the I'd time. Like to get a little further off the side of the wreck. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a distance now. I think it's so somewhere around 195, but see what you think. Yeah, I was due south of we'll you along and away, so... Uh, we haven't been seeing any ship heaving issues today. The wreck is pretty much going north, uh, west, southeast. All right, science. Just let me know what you want to look at. Uh, yeah, we're at uh, we're at your disposal, uh, folks. Um, we're uh, we're sliding slowly forward. Don't have a terribly large scope of tether. We need to get serious moving forward. forward. We've got a couple Let's want to do uh, 10 meters up. at 245. That'll bring you away and around. And then when you get right to the tip of the battle, let's pause. Yeah, 245 is going to move me away, I think, uh, Carl. I think uh, we need to move a little when south. When we get uh, okay. right. 230. When we get right abreast of these white blocks, uh, presumably tallow or something uh, like it, we're going to want to zoom on those. Roger. There's 180. That's why I think well, like 195. So There's 195 right there. On this there. side, we also have these blocks to tumble outside the hull. Okay. Let's do uh, let's do 200. Good. Nice. Good. Ten meters. Roger. Let us know if there is a particular block you would like to zoom in on. on the very eroded block at your 12 o'clock and then at your 1 o'clock bridge we have nav objects we'd like you to look at roger that let's uh when you're stable let's pause here hey we get a ship move 10 meters bearing 200 at 0 0.1 All right, knots. You want to zoom in? yeah let's get a zoom on the block in the center right view All right, video, if you want to zoom in. Thank you. That one, it's interesting to me that some of these blocks seem much more eroded than others, given the fact that we assume that the blocks are all composed of the same material. I do find that interesting. The more we look at this, the more I like the Copal theory as opposed to the tallow. Much nicer once you recover it as well. Pilot, this video we need to do a color oh, yeah. check. Need to cap the camera and check the blacks. Okay. Whenever you're stable. Um, can you? Do you need to do that full zoomed in, or can you do that wide? Okay, let's zoom to your one. Just need to, I'll have to cap the camera. Uh, let's so come camera in. Is, are we dark. looking at the container, or are you no, looking at first. another white block? Yeah, let's look at the container at the 2 o'clock position from the block you're looking at right now. Roger. Yep. Roger that. Uh, wait one, everyone ashore. We're going to do have to do a little color uh, balancing here. Clear, pilot. Clear. Thank you. The wreck is still there. Yeah, black has been as you can see from the serious view, but we're doing a little uh, equalization here. Got to keep giving you honest, uh, honest colors. Honest okay. people give you honest colors. Yep. All right, pilots, we're back. Okay, Roger that. So let's zoom in on that uh, container on the two o'clock position from the block you just zoomed on. Roger. Very dark. Not not the water, but the container.
I just continue to marvel at the job our pilots are doing and how clear the water is, and those two things are linked. You guys are all doing a great job up there. Really good. Yeah, pilot looks Proud like Sirius is moving along to the south a little bit. Real good position. Have we got lasers on, Carl? But not a whole lot more than that. Uh, lasers are on. Okay. Um, is this oh, the object? That's it. Dead ahead of you. Yeah, okay. just above the lasers. Roger. All right, video. Yeah, I think that's leather. Pushing in. Is it leather? Ah. I. Ah. Ah. Reason it would be so dark. It's a partial. Was, was this what you were looking at? Yeah, we just want to take a look. That's rolled hides. Okay. Uh, uh, that's what we were wanting to find, rolled hides, and that's what they've ascertained. So we can, as soon as you're done video, we can come wide. All right, video. Come wide, please. Uh, Steve, you know, uh, we don't see here the uh, tubes that we saw sticking up around when we were close up around that wood. And I'm just wondering if those tubes might have been the kind of siphons. Or Let's keep moving forward towards the bow, the, slowly. Roger. Uh, uh, siphon, whatever, of the bivalve mollusk that bore into the wood. And uh, they may have even been in the uh, wood fragments that are all were on the seafloor then. Josh, be yeah, aware that your tail is in deeper terrain it than your nose. It sort of did look like siphons of, of some kind of mollusk. So so meters on the tail means you're Those, they all had little, like, close. lobes at the top, right, too. Right, They're slightly enlarged at the then. top of the siphon. But I'll have to start poking around or make both of us see if we can't find know something close what to we that. can do with lights, but the... Look at uh, Xylophaga, um, some images of that. It's got a long proboscis kind of sticking out. I don't know if we could stretch the light pull out any. Looks oh. like a siphon. We're closing in on the bow now. Um, should see the anchor coming into view shortly, or one of the two anchors. So let me know what your pleasure is. Do I have enough range to keep going here, co-pilot? No, I wouldn't go much further. Okay. Uh, you have a little, but don't pirouette on it yet. Yeah. The ship stopped moving a minute ago, so Sirius well, should sure stop. Like, isn't it, Bill? It should be about partway through its That would be the first evidence yeah. we had of live shipworms on these racks, if that was the case. So, Jamie? Yes, sir. As you approach, uh, what we're going to want to do is take a look at the anchor. Uh, particular interest is not is not only the form of the flukes, but also the stock or the body, because it's Copilot, what if you bring the mosaic as if it's upper not ones, solid, uh, but rather two pieces of bar joined together, but this could also be just oh, the product that. of corrosion and delaminating of a forged bit of iron. But let's just get closer to the bow and then start by taking a long, leisurely stroll from one end to the other of the anchor. Roger that. So, science, we're just waiting on the ship move. Uh, we are waiting at the moment for on the ship move. Um, let me do a general announcement here. Uh, this is the Okeanos Explorer. We are midway through dive seven of our Expedition 3 of the ships and the uh, exploration programs 2014 sojourn to the Gulf of Mexico. So just momentarily, uh, we are diving on Monterey B. This is the third vessel in a Same fleet of vessels that. Uh, Maybe may have sunk together in the early 19th century. We've already done a dive on Monterey's A and C, you and we're down here looking at Monterey B so today with a host idea. of people helping us from shore, biologists, archaeologists, and we welcome you as well. Let uh, me know if the level got a beautiful view of the wreck as, we, as I am speaking to you. We're near the bow, and we're going to be down here for the next three hours okay. and 30 minutes. So we welcome you all to... Uh, I wish for your visual reference to uh, iris down stay with to, us. so the white are legal, just so you can see what the, the total length right now is sort of shaded on the average. But that would be like the legal whites. Hmm. So, so, yeah, so that's why as soon as I'm we can move, we're going to want to slide forward to the near anchor just to and do a pretty close look at, uh, at all pieces of it. Copy that, so nice. How about a 180 to get you more behind? Sure. That's fine. And even 10 meters at that? Okay. 
So I'm bringing the swing arm, the lower swing arms up just a little bit. Looks like there's a cutthroat eel in this distance near the tallow. Bridge now. Okay, could I have another move? 10 meters bearing 180 at 0 0.1 knots. Oh, is that better? Thank I you. the lower swing arms up higher to project the light over the... Uh, uh, I believe, I believe yes, it is, because now I can, even though I'm still pushing the whites over. Can you give me a zoom on Sirius HD? I want to look at the Push lower swing arms serious. on the left side there. All right, when you're stable, um, we're going to want to do a very close look at that uh, at that anchor. Roger. Okay, try that um, more. I'm not sure the best way to start. Um, might want to look at the far, the, the flukes are to your left. Uh, one of them is partially buried, the one near you, and the other one is more exposed. Are we, uh, it might be good to start are there. Are any light from Sirius? And then work our way down the shaft toward your near field view to your lower right. Come a little wider. So you're almost dead ahead of the left hand fluke, which is partially behind that Very little far room. block of either copal or tallow. So that's full one. When you get when you get organized, we'll take a zoom there and see what we see. Copy. All right, video, we can come in. And it looks like uh, uh, everyone partial. on the beach. It looks like the near fluke is is partially obscured by the uh, by tallow. It looks like on the mosaic as though it's being covered by something as well. So when I push left the, I don't have white in the screen. I can push up the iris, the and I get really good imagery. Josh, uh, looking at your screens, yes, I would it's say there. that you probably could come in another meter or two. Let's, 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 let's tilt yeah, down and pan left and a little uh, bit. Minute pan of where your jaw is. See, top left screen up there. Uh, it looks like it looks like some fishing line there, so we want to be mindful of that too. Yeah, I like that car a lot. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we're not going to see the near fluke unless we yeah, you know exactly come up on D2. Are. That wouldn't be so easy. We might see it as we move down the shaft towards the bow. It's obscured by blocks on both sides here. But let's uh, it's a partial zoom. Thank you. Let's uh, let's come up with a far fluke when you uh, when you're upper right, you're two o'clock when you get a chance. Copy. So if we come wide for a second, uh, science, I can get a little closer. Go ahead. We have a fish or something in the upper right underneath the overhang. Co-pilot, I like the backup cam too. I do too. That's good. It's almost horizontal. Prince, are you seeing that in the mosaic with, where it looked like the anchor shank was two we pieces? We need those red and green uh, one solid converging shank lines like all the cars have. I got both of the aft lights on. Jim, can you say that again? I'm sorry. I've got this. Thank you, Bridge. In the mosaic, it was looking as if the anchor was had two bars that made up the shank. But what's clear now is that you've got a solid shank with the folding iron stock lying on top of it. Yeah, I see that. I got gotcha. you. Sorry, I didn't hear you the first time. Yeah, when you're ready, video, we're going to want to move down the uh, down the axis. Right, 
watch out for the line. Obviously, we've got some line there, and move our way down towards the uh, towards the, there's a ring assembly where. Yep, videos. I'm just following the pilot's lead. So we're going to look for where the the stock meets the shank, then look for the stock key and the the connector. There. This cutthroat. It looks like he's feeding on something. We can, here we go. Come in on the cutthroat. Yeah, let's come in on the eel. Pushing in. Amy's also interested in this, what looks to be a ceramic vessel to the left of the uh, demi don that was on the opposite side of the anchor shank. Roger that. Is he feeding or getting his head away from the lights? Oh, I think it's feeding on something. I... Yeah, they never really seemed to react to our lights before. Yeah, Max uh, certainly doesn't. I don't think he's particularly mindful of the fact that we're here. Carl, I think those moves have definitely... Yeah, we, when you're ready, further. we can move. Um, let's follow the anchor first. Amy, I haven't forgotten you. We'll look at these, uh, at the ceramics as well. Let's complete our view of the uh, anchor. Is that, uh, what's that white ribbon? Yeah, I was looking at that. Is there some writing on the ribbon nearest the line? Yeah. Uh, I see. Like, well, if, I, I, can you get in tighter? Yes. So if you if you pull wide, video, I'm gonna move closer. Pulling wide. Yeah. And we'll get another zoom on that. Pilot, you definitely have tether to maneuver as you need to. Don't need to clock around that. Just repositioning D2 to get a little closer so that we can get a tighter zoom. We've seen uh, a white uh, uh, streamer of some kind that looks like it's got lettering on it. It may not be part of this wreck. It might be younger, but we'll take a close look. Pushing in. Max in. looking at the anchor. Yep. All right, partial. Yeah, that's good. Uh, looks like we've got a demijohn in front and more ceramic under the anchor. So we'll uh, let's complete our view of the anchor and then we'll uh, take a look at the, uh, at the pilot, containers. How about uh, five meters uh, zero nine zero? A little uh, closer. And and at some point, uh, Carl, we're going to want to slide around to the right and look down the anchor, and I want to view down the whole hull as well, so a widescreen view. That ceramic to the right of the... Uh, stop there. All right, let's stop now. there. Right of the mini -tot. Pretty classic Spanish olive jar. Uh, do we need a zoom of something here? Capture. Roger that. Okay, I think I've got some okay, zoom see, creep. Please. All right, let's uh, let's keep moving around to the right. Bridge now. Could have another move. Five meters, bearing zero nine zero degrees at zero point one knots. Okay, stop. 
job. Let's stop there. Take a look. I'm wondering why this anchor, I don't know which anchor was the business anchor, isn't connected to something like a chain. Uh, any ideas there, or is it the other anchor, the one that's partially buried, that would have been in use? Uh, at this period, they were using uh, hemp cable. We're using hemp, so the hemp would be gone. Yeah. Yeah, usually these would be, the, the ring would be wrapped with uh, canvas, and it would actually be connected to the ship by means of a hemp cable. Roger that. Can you just tilt down a bit and look at the other the other olive jar with the broken damage on? Just give yeah. us yep. a different shape. Where the lasers are now, if we can get a zoom there, that'd be good. Right, come on in tight, video. Pushing in tight for focus. I'll pull back out. Okay, we're good. Let's zoom a little. I uh, might want to come out just a little and frame it. I want to frame it. Yeah, there you go. Just a little bit more, please. You want more zoom? A little uh, back out just a little bit. Let's more. come back out a little. Let's unzoom a little on your lead pilot. All right, come on out video. Welcome, co-pilot. Okay, Jimmy, we can Thank continue you know. to make our way right around the bow. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's come wide and and continue to slide around. I want a lengthwise view of the anchor, uh, right and and side. of the and of the entire wreck from the bow. Roger. All right, video, come wide, please. So we just did a uh, five-meter ship move to the east. Have copies. It does. I wonder if it's something else just lying on top of it. Um, we should get a better feeling for it when we get a lengthwise view. Fritz, did you see though that there was an area for the key to fit in, and more or less in the middle? Yeah, I caught that. Hi guys, I'm back on the phone to identify critters. Very well. Oh, boy. 